the environment is changing so fast right now that we risk creating a situation where organisms like corals just can't keep up with the rate of change. There are hundreds of millions of people who rely on the coral reef on a daily basis for things like fisheries, for storm protection, and for economies that are built around reef-based tourism. The Great Barrier Reef in particular is very important to Australia as an, an incredible draw for tourism. It's really part of sort of the Australian identity, this largest continuous coral reef in the world. Every coral reef on the planet is facing threats. One are those things that are happening near the reef. We think of those as sort of localized threats. Those can be things like overfishing on the reef or pollution on the reef or just outright habitat destruction of the reef. Another set of threats has started to become more and more important on coral reefs. And these are the ones that are playing out globally. They're pretty much tied to changing climate. So the most obvious one is coral bleaching, which is directly related to water temperature. We're seeing more and more often that the water is getting too hot for the corals. Essentially, the coral is very sick it's close to dying, and it can no longer support these symbiotic organisms that live inside it, so it spits them out. When it does that, the coral loses its color. These events, when corals are dying, are becoming bigger and more common. If we manage ourselves well, and we solve some of these local problems, and we get a handle on our carbon problem as a species over the decades to come, then things like coral reefs, we have every reason to believe that they're going to be able to make it through this period of really rapid environmental change.